guys, welcome back to another knockout video and today we're going to be doing choking techniques. Now, when it comes to chokes, of course you can have the same desired effect as if you're punching someone, eventually the end result is they're going to pass out. So the first uh, sort of technique that we can go through would be rear naked choke. Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah. Okay, right, so Sam, if you can face that way for me. Oh boy. Alright, so the rear naked choke is probably my favourite choke of all, just because of how effective it is, and if you can get it to the right position, you can get it really, really quickly. So what you need to do is, you actually need to get your arm, one arm, around sort of your opponent's neck here like this, okay? Now, you don't really want sort of where your elbow is here to go around the windpipe like that. You don't really want that as it gives them a bit of breathing room. You want to try and get around the bone, around the forearm, across the neck like this. Right, now Sam, if we can go around this way for me. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the next part of the choke, because you can choke someone like this, all right, but it's a lot easier to escape. Now, the reason why a rear naked choke is a really, really good sort of choke to do is because you can actually restrain your opponent as well whilst doing this. And the way to do that is you have your hand open like this, you put your other hand, your free arm, on the shoulder, right? And you see the bicep here? You grab onto your bicep. And then from here, you bend this arm this way, turn your hand towards their head, and then you squeeze with this arm this way, and you squeeze downwards with this hand like that there. Now, from that position, it's actually a really, really difficult uh, sort of place for your opponent to be in. It's very difficult for them to escape. Even better than that, what you could do, which uh, a lot of uh, sort of grappling experts would recommend, is that you fall to the ground as well and get in some kind of uh, leg, leg hold around the body, around the waist, so they can't actually wriggle around too much, they can't escape, giving you plenty of opportunity to apply the choke. And hopefully, if your opponent doesn't tap out anyway, they'll pass out. Okay. So yeah, so that's our first technique for you. That's probably the best one. But another one which, well, this is a really, really easy technique. And to be honest, if you're ever getting yourself into a fight or something like that, your opponent... I mean, how, how likely is it that someone goes in with like a rugby tackle oh, or yeah, sort of no, thing? Or... Super, yeah, this is one of those... It's, I, I describe it as a, as a counter, yeah. move, really, because, well, like you say, it's, it's, it's the guillotine, so, you know... Yeah. Someone will go for the tackle. That's it. It's, I mean, most people, they don't even expect it. They, just, they, it. they plan to grab you, pick you up, put you on the floor, and then go from there. But yeah. if you know how to perform the guillotine... Well, I mean, because th that's the thing. A lot of the time when people are doing sort of like a, a rugby tackle, I mean, if, if you guys are watching for America, then something like an American football tackle might be fairly similar. But you guys probably know what it means. So Sam, if you just stand here for us, right? And one person's overcome with rage, and they drive in like this, bang, you know? right around the waist, uh, that is the perfect opportunity to get the guillotine choke. Now, it's, it's, it's not, it's quite a hard technique to get if, you know, you're sort of standing up like this, yeah, you know, whether in like a clinch kind of thing, very difficult to sort of get it from there. But even then, if you're in the clinch and someone decides to try and go for a takedown, for example, so from here, you're like this in a clinch, and then they go down for your legs, then that might be a great opportunity for you to get a guillotine choke as well. But anyway, so we'll just stick to the sort of normal yeah. sort of rugby tackle dive kind street, of thing. Street scrappy. Yeah, almost like a spear tackle kind yeah, of thing. Yes, okay. yeah. So the first thing you need to do, well, I'll tell you what, um, Sam, do you, want, do you want to do this one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, All right. Sure. So which, which side do you want me go, to be go, on? Go, go from this side. That, that side there, okay. Right, so I'm going to try and go for a spear tackle. And the first thing that Sam does is, bang, catches my head right around the arm here. Now, um... From this position, Sam isn't putting an awful lot of pressure on, but I can still feel it along my neck already. And all that Sam needs to do is if we turn around this way. So with his other hand, he's just got to grip the other hand and Go squeeze. On, lift it up like that. Lift and squeeze. Very similar to the rear naked, you're using both arms to just, well, in conjunction to get the effect you want. And it's the same way as you, you want your forearm across the throat as opposed to them being in the sort of gap between your elbow because obviously they can breathe there, whereas if your forearm pressing against their throat, their Adam's apple, or just pressing down their windpipe, it's nasty and they ain't going to be able to breathe. Yes, it's not very nice. I mean, even just being in that position there, even though Sam was putting on any pressure, it, 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 it's like a strain on your back, yeah. strain across your throat, strain across well, your shoulders, your neck. Yeah, yeah, your head's down. You have no idea what's going on when you're down there as well. Because yeah. you've got control of the head, so you can take them anywhere. Like, yeah, that, you've got that, that head and yeah. So not only have you got them in a great choke, you've got them pretty much wherever you want them. And the first instinct that a lot of people do as well if they're ever caught in a guillotine choke is they try and take you to the ground. Now that is actually probably an even better place. It makes it easier for you, yeah. yeah. Because again, just like with the rear naked, if you can get your legs around them, you know, wrapping around like in so, some sort of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu yeah. guard or something like that, then you can use your legs to squeeze yeah. even further, get that extra lift like as, Sam was as saying. If, as if you're pulling them apart almost. Yeah. 
Yeah, and also again, it's a great restraint technique. So if they're, you know, trying to wriggle around or whatever, trying to escape, it's going to be really, really difficult for them to get out. I mean, the amount of times that I've actually ended fights, uh, not not street fights, and I don't do that, <laughs> okay, but uh, sort of fights in the gym, grappling, sort of uh, competitive grappling, things like that. Guillotine choke, rear naked choke. If you can get them in the right place at the right time, you you've won. You've won. I mean, they'll, 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 most of the time people tap out way before they even come close to passing out. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, it's really, really great technique, the guillotine choke. Um, and again, yeah, a really great way to get a knockout, yeah. I suppose, yeah. from, from yeah, a choke hold. All right. Now, um, the, next, the next two we're going to do are going to involve us going to the ground. So again, these are sort of techniques that you would use uh, if, for example, I don't know, your opponent does manage to take you down, you can't do a guillotine uh, because they've escaped or you haven't had that opportunity, something like that. So the next one that we'll do, should we do a triangle? Yeah. Triangle choke next? Okay. Right. So for example, you're going to end up on the ground and you have your opponent sort of on top of you. Now if we turn around this way again. Alright. So. Uh, okay. Right, so this is quite a, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, sort of technique. So say for example Sam is uh, sort of the attacker, he's coming forward, so I have my hands up like this, I'm blocking, I'm guarding, and then I'm going to push him away like that, and he's going to come in for some more. Okay, now from this position here, what you need to try and do is you need to try and grab hold of one of your opponent's arms, alright? And as soon as you do, you need to bring it over to your shoulder. Then you need to get him into the guard position, okay? This is how sort of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu grapplers would sort of explain it. Now from here, what you need to do, you need to try and get your shin up across the shoulders, okay? If it's down here towards the lower back or what have you, it's not gonna work. You need to get one shin right across the shoulders, okay? Now from here, what you need to do, because there's this hand here, you need to push that hand with the knee out. And then, you see this foot here and the knee, you need to try and get that there, okay? So you're here, so the behind, behind the knee, the back of the knee, interlocked with the foot that's going across the shoulders. Right, now from here what you need to do is you need to lock, okay? So you see that motion there? Lock. That's the squeezing effect. Now at the moment there's no choke. The reason why there's no choke is because this hand, this arm is still on your shoulder. So as soon as you move that hand across, away from your shoulder, in the same direction that the punch would have been going, and from here you should just be able to squeeze your legs, and then you should be able to apply a choke, and then they should, they should tap out. Now if they don't tap out, if they don't pass out, then one thing which you could do is you can grab the top of their head and squeeze in even further. Now, <laughs> now one thing which, uh, <coughs> which uh, a lot of, well, one thing which should be a really great thing to happen if you are trying to get a triangle choke is where their arm is going across, try and get it underneath their chin. Because again, that creates, again, almost like they're choking themselves yeah. kind of thing. So, but that's, uh, that's probably the best position to be in uh, with a triangle choke. So arm across their neck, you have both your thighs squeezing against the sides of their necks like this. And yeah, hopefully you'll get a pass out, but if not, you'll get a tap. You could be really unlucky and get some absolute monster that can just pick you up, but... Yeah. yeah. Only that's, that's, you see that a lot in the movies, I mean... But chances are, if you do it right, you'll choke them out long before they'll... Well, can uh, muster the strength to well, pick you, you up. Well, anyway. you, you see some, some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu sort of masters and they can knock someone out in a couple oh, of seconds. Jesus. You know, so applying, applying the triangle choke, bang, they're out straight away. If you are unlucky enough to be picked up by, I mean, you know, you, you don't have to be a massive guy to pick up someone that's sort of the same, the same height and weight as you. But if you do end up being in that unfortunate position, then of course the safest thing to do is simply let go. Let go of the lock. You do go. not want to get powerbombed with that. that no, no, no. Sucks. Not on concrete. I mean, okay. Not anything, I've, really. I've had that done to be on, I was going to say, yeah. I've had that done to be on the mats, and that is not pretty. That's not very nice. You get winded, and it's horrible. So you can let go and get back into that sort of uh, yeah. defensive guard position with your legs up front, trying to push them away again. I mean, as well, with the guard position, that's actually a really good way, again, to restrain your opponents and basically stop that, those sort of massive hammer blows yeah, that are coming yeah. you know, from standing up and diving down. It kind of limits their power, uh, especially as well if you can have sort of like this sort of guard here, but quite similar to the guard in self-defense guard yeah. part one, actually, very similar, except on the floor with your hands up like this and you're moving from side to side like that, moving your whole body, not just your head, to try and either avoid the shots or try and block them. So that's the triangle choke for you. Uh, the last one, again, we're going to head up on the floor for this one, is going to be uh, uh, arm triangle. Yeah. Okay, um, do you want to do this one? Yeah. Right All right. Yeah, just right down. Okay. Nice music. Ah. Oh, hi. <laughs>
But this one is a uh, personal favorite of mine. Yeah, you'll, like, get, it, you'll get it this oh, one. Oh, I catch a lot of people out on this one because it's, I like to use it and make it seem like I'm changing my position and then yeah. catch them out with it. So basically, I tend to do this from a standard side mount as so, and then as I do, I will move my head under the opponent's shoulder, sort of have your shoulder sort of under their armpit almost, and then with this hand that's across their chest, you bring that across, right under behind their head, so your bicep, your arm is just under their head, their neck, right? And then you bring it, you meet it up with your other arm, like the other chokes, it's pretty much using your limbs together to lock up, and you just have to squeeze. Now, if the squeeze doesn't work, you can actually change your body position as well, and just move up, and even, it, even <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even squeezing, You're not squeezing. I'm not squeezing, <laughs> I'm just moving my body, and that is just adding the extra pull, so you can imagine how much more that would be if I was actually squeezing. That'll, that'll end it pretty quickly. Like, I can feel the blood sort of restricting in my head. Oh, oh yeah. You know, it's almost like my head's about to explode. It's very, <coughs> you, know, you need to be careful because uh, when you get into this position, moving from like, moving from here to there is a big chance for them to move you or get you off of them just because you're... Yeah, because you haven't got your body bit yeah. on top of them, it's, it's sort of off center, yeah. isn't it? So. Yeah, but again, I mean, it's, it's another great way of, um, you know, if you end up on the floor and you get at the top position this yeah. time, because of course with the triangle choke, it's from a bottom position, defensive, well, from a top position, you can be quite attacking. I mean, from there, you can do things like arm bars, things like that, but chokes and things is, this is way more effective. I yeah. mean, an arm triangle is actually a really quick and easy thing to do. And I remember the last time I was sparring with you, and this was ages ago, you did an arm triangle, I didn't even know you'd done it. I had no idea, I had no idea he put it on, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh my god, I'm being choked. How the hell did that happen? So, again, yeah, the very, chokes can be very sly at times. Yeah. I mean, it's, it can be set for any submission because there are just so many of them, but, like, I mean, you, I'd say with pretty much no contest, the chokes are probably the easiest ways yeah. to get knockout in submission, just because, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like, you know, I've escaped plenty of leg locks, arm bars, whatever, and I'm sure you have as well. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, the, they're a lot easier to yeah, escape than they're, chokes. They're effective, yeah. you know, when they're on properly, but there's a there's a bit more room for error with chokes. Yeah, and I mean, I suppose that that's, that's another good point as well, actually, is the fact that, you know, when people are throwing punches and things like that, yes, you can get a knockout, but remember, at the same time as you're trying to get a knockout, this person's trying to throw punches your way. With locks, with uh, chokes in particular, you're able to control the amount your opponent can throw at you a hell of a lot more as than, well. than you, if you're standing yeah, like this, sort yeah. of throwing punches at each other. So that's why uh, you know chokes in particular are really good at restraining and if you needed to, get the knockout. As well, when you're like in the position when you're being choked, it's amazing how much more energy you're using because you're panicking and you're trying to get out as yeah. opposed to whoever is doing the choke. You, you can just be so much more calm about it because yeah. you're, you're using next to no energy. You're yeah. the tiniest, well, like we demonstrated, you don't need to put that yeah. squeeze on yeah. to and, make and, someone tap out. And you have the choice as well yeah. of how much pressure you yeah. want to apply. I mean, you get some UFC fighters, you know, that get used to doing leg locks and things, and they can hold a leg lock for a whole round, a whole it's five dangerous. minutes, and it's crazy the amount of strength, the amount of stamina they need to have to, you know, I mean, try just it at home. hold it off. Yeah, just, just try and hold, I don't know, a, a leg or something like that in some kind of yeah. leg lock that's for a, five that's minutes. That's against someone using their body weight as well. Exactly. On that tool. And this, yeah. That's mad, it's, but... But chokes, you, no, you don't need no, that at all. I don't care. Like, we've talked about this. Warrior. <laughs> one of my favourite movies. But I hate how he goes like a full minute of being choked. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, if, no. if, that, if, you're in a, if, it's, if it's a deep choke, your yeah. windpipe's being squished. Yeah. That is you done. You cannot... Well, wind, windpipe's being squished. Your, your arteries and your yeah. veins are being squished. Blood flow restriction. It is ugh, a horrible feeling. It's, it's nasty. Yeah. And... So I mean that's that's why we felt the need to actually make a knockout video with with chokes just just to show you guys how effective they are and yeah striking works really really well but chokes you know I don't know I I have, I, I have a thing about chokes yeah, they, they're agree, really yeah. effective the amount of fights uh, in here you know competitive fights I've won with choking you know I mean it's especially because we don't do full contact yeah. right so getting a knockout. well it's never happened it ever happen. because like sometimes someone will fall over because of like a yeah. dodgy hit but that's it. But I mean, but chokes are the things that you can practice almost full contact like because you know because you have to in order to get the restraints in order to get the. That chokes. being said, though, you need to remember if you're not practicing this in the dojo, or even if you are practicing in the dojo, you need to exercise caution because. Oh oh yeah, gotcha. If yeah, yeah, yeah. you you choke someone out, 
that you know there's no oxygen going to their brain it can get very bad very yeah, quickly. I mean, so you, you don't know what kind of damage you, you'll be doing to your partner you always so. need to make sure you're paying attention if, yeah. if someone taps out let them go straight away yeah. or if they're like i don't know letting out some kind of scream or yell because they can't yeah. tap out i mean even even in a self-defense situation if you've got a choke on too hard and the person that you're you know that's attacking you you manage to get them in that position and they start tapping don't let go of the choke but release the pressure. E ease up. And ease up so they can breathe and whatever. Because then, again, it, it saves you the trouble later on, you know, with the law yeah. and whatever. And I mean, this is all stuff for another video, for another yeah, day. Yeah, it, it, like, it is. It we'll, is. we'll definitely touch up on that a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, we're also going to be doing more specific videos on how to perform the specific locks that we've gone through today as well, in much more detail, things like positioning. Okay, we've been through a little bit, but this video is just about the techniques that you yeah. could do to get a knockout yeah. with chokes. Name, name and demonstration. The next one That's will it. be a lot more how to get there, yeah. how to perform. That's it, far more in depth. Uh, so make sure you guys come back for that one. But yeah, I think that's, uh, that's everything for yeah, today, yeah. I think, in this video. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, I hope this helps you with your training. I hope it gives you some pointers, gives you some tips. Uh, and yeah, I hope you stay safe as a result of watching this video. And yeah, I hope you guys take care, and we'll see you in the next one.